Well, obviously, that was uh, not a good night for us and a great night for them. Congratulations to uh, State. They outplayed us really in every facet. Uh, their guards controlled the game. Uh, they all fought us. We knew there would be uh, a really hungry team, you know, coming off of a couple tough, tough losses. And, you know, they're, we've known they're a dangerous team. I mean, they've been right there with some of the best teams in the country. And uh, a lot of respect for them. But that was uh, not a good enough performance or effort on our part. That's on me. Uh, you know, unfortunately, there's some moments I've been through as a player as a coach where you have a night like this and it's not okay. You know, it's not okay to have a night like this. And for us to learn from it, we have to grow and change. And, uh, you know, I take responsibility for that as a coach. And uh, disappointing. It's a disappointing night. But credit to them. You know, two and two and 16 games left ACC. There's a long way to go. We have to, we have to learn from this, though. So happy to answer any questions. I mean, it's, it's hard to point to one thing, right? I mean, it was basically everything. You know, it was, it was our defense. It was not being strong enough. It was uh, their defense, you know, got us out of sync. And I think for us, just not being in this environment before, when it went that way, you know, we didn't stick together the way that you have to. And, you know, the times where we executed, uh, made passes, and had some poise, we actually got – to their pain and got some good shots, um, but there are too many empty possessions. We knew going in, they're great at creating turnovers. You know, we have 21. That's not going to get it done against anybody, especially not these guys. John, did, did you think going in that you guys were, were tougher than this physically and mentally? Was this sort of a shock to you to see some of the ways those plays developed? Yeah, I mean, I, I never go into any game thinking we're going to get blown out like this, right? And. Uh, you feel you're going to win, and thought we had two good days of preparation. And for us, it's you know I told our guys we have to all look look ourselves in the mirror, me included. Uh, what did we do to prepare? What did we do in this game? Whether it's an hour before, a day before, and to learn and grow from this. But uh, yeah, that was uh, was not expecting that. Talking to the players, the word timid came up a couple of times as far as the way you guys started. Um, what do you think about that? That's not normally something that's associated with Duke. So how, how do you want to change that around? Yeah, it's uh, you need to be aggressive. And, you know, really the, the things that, like the questions you guys are asking me or the things that we've talked about, that, that doesn't get you a win. That puts you in the game, and then you still have to execute. You still have to know game plan or scout report. Or, you know, you're, you're defending two big-time players in Smith and Joyner. And, uh, you know, for us – we have to figure that out. That can't be the way. That's not how I've ever. That's not how I've approached this team. That's not how I've played, coach. I want these guys to play that way. I want us to be aggressive and go for it. And uh, so we have to do that. That's the bottom line. John, this is two road games in a row now. Is there any common thread between the two, and is it just part of the learning process with a young team? Yeah, I mean, look. I think it's. Uh, it's hard to have a great perspective right now when you're in the moment and you're you're disappointed to say the least with the loss, but you know it's it's a long year and unfortunately and I knew this when I took the job. There's gonna be some moments like this where, you know, people can doubt you, they can doubt us as a team and uh, sometimes the the best way to learn is to experience it. And for that for this group in particular to experience this game, to experience playing on the road. You wish it was 2-0 and on the road or 4-0 and in conference, but that's not how it works. And so for us, it's all about how you learn from it and how you grow from it, and that's how I'm going to approach it. You say you want to learn and grow from it. You're hitting the road again in a few days to play another ACC team team you're going to play. But what are the keys, what are the two or three things you need to flip right now to turn around right now to Get that first true win. Yeah, I can't. I don't know if I can give you the two or three things. I mean, if we were, if we had all night, I could give you a lot more. But for us, uh, it starts with our mindset. You know, it starts with the way we come out in both games against Wake uh, and, and against NC State. You know, you can see right away with our fight, our our competitive nature. 
And we haven't been that way. Like we've we've competed in every game we've played this this season. Outside of these two games, we didn't put up the same fight. So for us, you know, it's I don't have all the answers right now. I want to digest, watch the film, uh, talk with the staff, and we'll get together a great plan. And there's a huge sense of urgency. I mean, it's Boston College just won two games at home. I know um, in the ACC, and they're a really good team. So it's uh, we have to do that. Yeah, I mean, the theme is they all competed us and they all played us, and uh, that's not okay. John, you seem really calm in the first half. How were you able to center yourself on 15 of it? You felt that was calm. <laughs> I mean, you were a little bit far away, but it just, it just seemed like you were uh, well, almost even meditating. Well, you know, for me, it's I've been in a lot of games in the ACC where we're down and you come back and win. and. It's, it's about navigating the game. So it's not about going into panic mode or anything other than trying to figure out how to win the next possession. And then you got to win the possession after that. And that's where my mind goes. And, you know, clearly um, there's a lot that's happening in those moments. You can't point to one thing or, you know, on either side of the ball. It's a lot going on there. And they had a lot to do with that. Like, I'm not taking anything away from them. I give them a lot of credit. They were, they were hungrier and... They did all the right things. Um, but for me, that's where my mind goes. It's how can you win? Too early in your career to get your first technical. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks, John. Appreciate it. All right, thank you.